Hey, what's going on, everyone? It's your man, James Thrill, and I am over here at Viacom doing it big, and I got, look, my homies from VH's one newest scripted series, The Breaks. What's going on, fellas? What's going on, bro? I see that you all have a great relationship. It's almost like a brotherhood. <laughs> so I can just imagine how it is on set when you all are actually filming. Yeah, so tell me. You were on power, Don't now you're, you're here on the breaks. That's right. What's the big difference? Um, um, having bros around your age that you can, can actually enjoy a set with. I mean, like you said, like the, I'll say the similarities, I'll say the difference. The similarities is that, you know, even on power, we had a family and, and we all came together and we were committed to making what it was that we were doing great. Okay. And then the, the, the blessing of this opportunity is that. All these guys are my brothers really like similar age. Yeah. So we have fun and we have the same jokes where it's like, you know, like I talked to O on set, he's like, I got time for that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, right. I got right. I ain't got time for that. <laughs> but with these guys, like we kick it, we hang out, we share similar interests, so it's just mm -hmm. it just makes it even more fun. We yeah. we crack the same jokes. That's just awesome. So you all are working with a veteran in the industry, Wood Harris, man. This man, I feel like every time I turn my head, like he's somewhere, he's doing something. Was there ever an opportunity where one of you had a sit down conversation or maybe even all three of you and he gave you some pointers of having to continue to have a successful career in this industry? I mean, I think Wood, definitely, we all learn from Wood and we continue to learn from Wood. And, and he said something really key earlier, which is that he sets an example. You know, Wood, in his in his way is he he wants he looks at us as as people that he wants to, to mentor but he's not going to come in and, and beat anything on our head and say you need to do it this way mm -hmm. he's going to be like i'm, I'm going to show you mm -hmm. a better way to do his constant professional studies his work and he's always creative in the process mm -hmm. so he really just set the example in that exactly. way yeah good good that, that's the answer yeah. Yeah. some people talk about it and some people lead by example yeah. I think he's a great leader by example. Yeah. It's nice, nice. It's yeah. real. So you all are on, 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 it's a scripted series about hip hop. Yes, sir. F, and this is a question for all three of you. If you had an opportunity to work with any artist, mm. dead or alive, mm. who would you work with and which track would it be? Mm. Mm. That's a good question. If you could have been featured on any song, that's a great question. who would it be and what track? Uh, Man, I gotta say Biggie. I would love to be on. I got a story to tell with him. Even Ooh. if I was just laughing in the background. <laughs> <laughs> that beat is ridiculous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. ridiculous. Would love to be on that. What about you, Matt? Um, uh, Michael Jackson probably. Oh, MJ. Right. Okay, you just went to the MJ. top. Huh? That guy right. go. oh, it's the, the king, bro. Yeah, yeah, the king. yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, I would love to if I could have written on it or been in the studio when it was happening. Like any anything from Thriller, bro. Like human nature, wow. anything. Yeah, anything. Wow. Wow, I mean, I can't even really top that. <laughs> like, like, I mean, honestly, like, I would just jump on Max Bandwagon. Right <laughs> just be like, yo, tell me how it was. <laughs> yo, tell me how it was. No, I mean, it's tough, to, it's tough to follow Mike. Like, that's probably legendary answer even right there. I would have to say the same, man. Okay. I think Mike okay. is, is the greatest. Great. Great. Actually, Jay, I want to change my answer. You want to change Me and Biggie could get on human nature. Yeah. <laughs> Ridiculous. <laughs> What? I mean, that's a yeah. remix. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's ridiculous. But can you imagine Biggie and MJ in the studio together? I can see that. Crazy. Hey, I can see that too. I can see that. I can see that too. I can see that too. Cause you know when I knew Mike was like a regular dude. Right. When I when I seen him, a video of him like doing something to R. Kelly, I forgot what song R. Kelly had, but MJ was in the back singing the whole R. Kelly song. Right. right. So you can tell he's like he liked urban music. He's part of the culture. Well, you also hear stories about how Mike used to hit people with those like one-liners. Mm -hmm. Like they'd come in and meet him for the first time, and he would just make them nervous. And be like, that's what you gonna wear. <laughs> Are you be like, yo, Mike? <laughs> <laughs> Mike roasted? Like, oh, yeah. Whatever you real said, like, yeah. 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 That's, that's what you're going to wear. I'm going to do that on bubbles. Like, that's hard. <laughs> 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 bubbles was <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man.